Hey guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the long-term ownership of a ProTune Subaru WRX and specifically what it's like to daily drive it and whether or not it's sustainable. And we're driving through some back roads right now. We're gonna have a little bit of fun during this video. I did wanna give you guys a little bit of a heads up and we're gonna, I'm kind of in the future here because I realized after filming the video that I wanted to kind of give you this heads up. In this video, I'm really gonna give you the off the cuff, straight from my brain and heart, reality of what it's like to drive ProTune WRX as a daily driver. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not, I don't have a plan for this video. So you're gonna hear what it's really like. And I think that's really important because what it's really like is what you should, you know, expect if you're planning on doing something like this. I do apologize if it's a little bit kind of out there and I talk about a different, a bunch of different things, but I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get straight into it. And I know that I've, I've made videos in the past that address this, but I think that people keep asking, do you plan on doing this forever? Is this something that you plan on doing for an extended period of time? Before we get too far into the video, let's roll an intro so you guys can see exactly what I'm driving, exactly what I'm having fun with on a daily basis here. Let's roll the intro. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. I love rolling B-roll shots of this car. And guys, before we get too far, because this is the second time I've said that, if you want to see more WRX automotive content and anything around my WRX and building it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You guys are going to have to remind me to slow down here so I don't get pulled over, because when I make videos like this, I tend to go kind of fast. But Let's get straight into the video. So I've daily driven my WRX, if you've seen my past video, for over a year now. And that is my ProTune WRX. Over a year daily driving it. And the most common question I got from that video was, are you gonna do this forever? You know, are you gonna have this car for a long period of time and daily drive it for another year? And I think the answer is a little bit complicated because it, it really touches upon how long can you really daily and how many miles can you really comfortably put onto a pro-tuned vehicle and it's a combination of understanding what it means to be pro-tuned what's happening with a car what you're pushing what you're trying to achieve all the components on the car etc and then how you take care of your car and what your future goals are with the car so i'm going to be completely honest with you guys it's probably unlikely that i'm going to have this car for a full 12 months more. There are other cars that I've got my eyes on, specifically, potentially, the brand new STI that will be coming out in 2022. Little unclear, but is my decision about being pro-tuned? And, you know, I think, I think what I'm gonna tell you is gonna shock you guys. The answer is 50-50, to be honest with you. And, you know, I, I, I think honesty is the key here. I don't really know, and that's kind of, that's kind of tough to say out loud because it's not the greatest answer. 50%, I wanna get a new car, but 50%, and this is what you guys are interested in, it's been pro tuned for a while. Things are getting worn down faster. I, I'm just waiting for the day that it's gonna need a new clutch. I need to do maintenance a lot sooner, and then there's always the chance that something goes wrong. So yeah, um, and I, I, I don't wanna jumble around in this video because when I typically talk about my Protein WRX, it feels like I'm talking about a bunch of things. So really it breaks down to four core things about long-term daily drive use and kind of my experience. It's, it takes more maintenance, right? And it takes a little bit more care. You've gotta think more about your car, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's something that you have to be aware of. It's kind of a ticking time bomb. Everybody that tells you it isn't is a liar. Even the tuners, they, they're going to tell you too, tuning your car, pro-tuning your car, making more power is going to increase the wear. It's just gonna increase the load your engine and your car has to deal with. Number three is that it's limiting. And what I mean by that is you've already, I've already done these modifications to my car. 
I love doing modifications to my car. I want to do more power modifications. And unfortunately, if I do anything else with this car, I significantly reduce the reliability and drivability of the vehicle. So I have to make that balance. And unfortunately, because I've done basically a lot that I can do to it, the next step is kind of taken away from me and I don't get that thrill of power modification anymore. And number four is potential costs. Now, this is kind of reliability, things breaking, all that good stuff. In reality, the more I drive the car, the more I'm marginally afraid of something going wrong with the car and it costing me a lot of money. And that's just, that's the hard truth. I like to look at cars like business decisions. And if you're a real car person, you're probably gonna look at it the same way because you're always thinking about what your next part is, what your next modification is, all the next things. And I know this is less than exciting, but that's the reality of it. it you know, I'm concerned about the uh, financial longevity of the car. However, and it's important to note here, guys, that doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad car to pro tune and drive, especially daily drive. I'm at like 16 months now, daily driving my pro tune WRX, pretty much without any issues. I mean, I've had a few issues, check out that other video. That being said, it hasn't cost me a lot of money, so I'm pretty pleased with it. And it's a hell of a fun car. I mean, I'm behind a slow Subaru, unfortunately, but like, it's a hell of a fun car. I can't, you know, you can't ask for much more for a car that can do everything it can do. It can be so successful in the snow and it can, it can really be, you know, the champ that it is. I, I, that's, that's the reality. This is an all purpose vehicle that just happens to be a sports car that you can do a lot to. It's a lot of fun to drive. So ultimately there are many factors, specifically four in my mind that are telling me I probably don't want to daily drive this for another year. That being said, could I? Probably. And yes, I probably could. Am I gonna do it without any hiccups? Maybe, maybe no. Cars are always full of hiccups and that's just part of owning a car. Pro tuning it just changes that a little bit in that it might speed some of those hiccups up. But ultimately the WRX is a great platform for pro tuning and it's a great intro pl platform for kind of getting comfortable with all this. So I know that I blabbed at you guys for a little bit here and this was a little bit of a disorganized video. I think these ProTune videos always are because I think, you know, I don't plan the ProTune videos because I think it's important for you guys to hear what's kind of coming from my brain, from my heart about the car. You know, when I plan a video, it feels a little bit more, you know, I think about everything that I'm saying and I think that sometimes is a bad thing because you don't get to hear right off what's off the cuff. And if you followed this far through, I promise guys, I haven't edited anything out. This is truly what's just coming out of my brain as I you know, think this through. And I think that's kind of important to all of you guys because it gives you more of a real experience. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat anything. Ultimately, I'm gonna tell you the reality of what this car is like. And somehow we've hit some traffic, so we're probably gonna take the video to an end here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed the off the cuffness. Let me know kind of what you think, whether, you're not, whether you like the idea of kind of being off the cuff or whether you like the idea of me planning videos out. I know this one feels a little bit like, um, it feels a little bit rushed maybe, but I think it's, but I think it gives you a real, uh, a real account of the car and my experience with the car. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There are lots of videos to come. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing.